Family of a 23 year old teacher who died in a shooting on I-95 needs your help. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Nasha Sherman. And I'm Elliot Rodriguez. Jim Barry is off tonight. Now the shooter in the story shot her on I-95 and has not been caught and apparently there are more victims of road rage from the same person. CBS 4's Yvonne Taylor joins us live in Fort Lauderdale with more on the family's plea. Yvonne, any more clues on this driver? Elliot and Naja, what is changing is the message that the family is sending. They're no longer addressing the shooter. They're actually making a plea to a friend, to a neighbor, to a relative of this subject who's still at large. Now, according to police, as you're going to see now on video, everything happened on I-95 between the exits of Broward and Sunrise Boulevard. On the Sunday after Thanksgiving, 23-year-old Anna Esteves, who was a preschool teacher, was pronounced dead at a Broward hospital on Wednesday. She was shot around 8.30 p.m. last Sunday after coming from Thanksgiving with her boyfriend. They were on a trip in North Carolina. Esteves' cousin tells CBS4 that the family plea is now to... Uh, is, is, is what is the plea now as well as what the victim's boyfriend told cops about the night of the crime. They were in lane three. She was she was the one driving. Her boyfriend was next to her in the passenger seat. A random car. They were just driving, sideswiped them, and took the mirror off of the car. They pulled up closer to the car. The cousin tells us they supposedly asked him to pull over, but the subject pulled out a gun and shot them. Broward Sheriff's Office released this sketch of the subject after speaking with Esteves' boyfriend. They also released a picture of a BMW i8. According to investigators, the shooter was driving this vehicle. But he's out there. You know, I don't know if he's hiding. I know that there has to be someone that knows who he is. And if they don't speak up, this could be anybody else. And I don't think it's going to stop here. You know, this man is unstable to do something like this. And police are saying that another girl was shot on I-95 that very same Sunday. She was on board of another car, but she did not die. However, cops believe that it was caused by the same individual. So if you know this subject or if you know something, please call Crime Stoppers of Broward. And remember, you could be eligible for a reward, which is up to $5,000. I'm live in Fort Lauderdale. Ivan Taylor, CBS 4 News. Story, Yvonne, thank you very much. That That is a car that if you see it, you're going to spot it. Uh, you don't see too many of those BMWs, so hopefully the police will get some information. Thank you, Yvonne Taylor, reporting from Fort Lauderdale. My